Daniel. What? Dry week. I know. What better thing to do when we can't drink whiskey is to watch other people drink whiskey. <laughs> Why are we doing this? All right, so we picked a handful of the most iconic whiskey moments in uh, mostly film, some TV, and definitely mostly scotch. Uh, throw on the like if you're into it. Here we go. Do the ad! Thank you. Do the ad! Do the ad! <laughs> This episode is brought to you by the Wizard of Heads partners. These are marketing professionals that specialize in turning small businesses into big businesses. You can go to wizardofheads.com see a list of marketing professionals by the right fit for you. Ah, oh, Jesus. Ah! <laughs> You're the wrong way. You're running into me every time you rotate. Ow! Did you see this? Story, doesn't it? Did you see this movie in the theaters? No. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. All right. Was it good in the theaters? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. i never seen the movie. Does this ruin something for me? Oh, no, you're screwed. It's superfluous in my life. Oh, like it gives away the ending kind of thing? No, well, I mean, just... It's just a cool scene. Yeah. Well, and this, of course, is a lady. Yeah, it's which, really depressing. Which which he has had a relationship. 50-year-old McCallan. A 50-year-old McCallan. Your favorite of yours, I 50-year-old McCallan? Really? In a, just a generic McCallan bottle? I have a hard time buying That's that. 1962. Is it the right bottle? I don't know. This guy's obviously a, like a psychopath type of deal. That's not invited. So, get it. the girl had a relationship with Bond. There was no consent there. Okay. Yeah, it seems like bad guys are universally bad at that. Do you think you could keep it cool like that? She has to be a sport. If I had a flintlock and a suit, maybe. <laughs> like if I was wearing shorts, then no. <laughs> <laughs> So it's wardrobe specific? Yeah, Your man. confidence is wardrobe specific? Yeah, dude. <laughs> I'm more confident the shittier I look. He took the shot. Oh. Yeah. Oh, what do you say to that? This was released in 2012, yeah. uh, an exact 50 year anniversary after the first James Bond movie, Dr. No. Oh. It's 1962, and they pull out a 1962 McCallan. Okay. Right? Oh. Yeah. The, this entire movie, all of the themes have to do with like the past and callbacks, and you eventually learn that Javier Bardem's character is an ex 00 agent. So it's a lot of recalling what made James Bond who he is now. Yeah. And also, good whiskey. Uh, they choose a whiskey that fits the character, fits the scene. Right. The 50-year-old McCallan, I mean, what I picked up beyond just, you know, the 50-year anniversary, even to somebody unfamiliar with the whole context, it felt like that would be really, really expensive and decadent to try and shoot it off of. Right. Yeah. So, everyone except for that guy is undercover right now, Daniel. Oh, oh, so everyone so, in the bar, and then the guy we're looking at is the bad guy. There's four people at this table. Mm -hmm. He's undercover. He's an actual German. Okay. Just nonverbal. Why do they have cards stuck to their head? Just, just let the, the moment, like the emotion, the scene, just bake in. Oh, that reminds me. I told you guys earlier, testiculos mm -hmm. meant test taker. Mm -hmm. That's not what it means. <laughs> Don't use that. So how, he didn't say how he gave himself away. So he did this? Yeah. The Germans do this. Yeah. Oh, they do. Yeah. There's a special rung in hell reserved for people who waste good scotch. Nah, I guess you're going to hell, Rex. <laughs> what have I ever wasted? You've wasted a lot of good scotch. <laughs> he took that whole thing, though. Yeah, he did. Damn good stuff, sir. Jesus. You had no choice. So, John Luke's got whiskey. And he's got some type of cocktail you on the right here. Mm -hmm. Have you picked up like a theme on these whiskey scenes yet? Yeah, so far it's just that they're trying to make a point that whoever has the whiskey is serious. Whiskey is one of these things that are thrown into TVs and films whenever they want a moment to feel like it has more gravity. Right. Just put a drink on their hand. Cool bar. Yeah. And again, the, that loaded emotional it's tension. It's just the threat of violence at any moment. 
Glenlivet, everybody knows what it is. It's a really well-known brand. Right. And so it's going to be most... Remember, this is pop movie, right? Okay. This is pop action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? I wonder how many of these movies but not had some type of brand deal involved. Uh, if they named it, they had a brand deal involved. Okay. Iron Fist? No. I saw Daredevil. Right. But not this one. Yeah, did you? I started to watch it, but the guy was so whiny. I agree. <laughs> so I whiny. Thousand like, such agree. a little punk. No, like, we haven't talked about this. Anybody with blonde hair, really, just can't be trusted. I do. <laughs> <laughs> we have to celebrate. We have to celebrate. Oh, yes. Wait, explain this to me. All right, so they're not trying to kill each other here. Balvany, 40 year old. This is supposed no, to be the best, I'm best single mold. Balvini, 30? Hold on, hold on. 40? Jesus. And That's expensive as shit. He said it's the best single malt of all time. It's well. Like, yeah, it's... Oh. And there we have the emotional turmoil. Mm -hmm. <laughs> $5,000. Yeah. She threw. But, he just shattered a $5,000 bottle. When you get that, you get that Iron Fist money, though, you can just throw it around. <laughs> yeah, Colleen's pap smear. A television classic. <laughs> <laughs> That's my chair. He plays his role so well. Yeah, I mean, locking eyes and then raising up and... Yeah. There. That's right there. along. He's, That's my chair. Oh my goodness, this? rest, yes. What is that? 40-year-old Brooklyn Attic. I only drink this when I'm practically suicidal. <laughs> <laughs> the handheld symbol of emotional... The emotional turmoil. Yeah. It's holding true so far. Uh huh. And he's slow rolling it too. The Rage. only one that really got animated so far. The guy was, who broke the bottle. Yeah. And that was the I've most. Seen, and that was the most ham-fisted piece of content we've seen so far. Yeah. It's been a long time since I've seen this. I'll have what he's having. Alrighty. Double shivers on the rocks. Double shivers. Bring him two doubles so he can catch up. Scotch drinker. Oh, ah, yeah, that's, that's my kind of guy. Okay. If you're gonna put one on the rocks, then shivers. That's a good one. That's, that's mine as well. One? Yeah. Yeah, it's slightly, slightly smoky blended scotch. <laughs> uh, no emotional turmoil. Yeah, the emotional turmoil is that his family is across the restaurant without him. Yeah, I guess it's indirect tension. He's drunk. Can I help you, man? Oh, sorry, I'm late. But after all those scotches, I had to piss like a racehorse. <laughs> <laughs> so that wasn't, you know, as heavy, but that is something that I think whiskey is often used. Uh, is whenever there's one character that has almost like an, an authority figure dynamic. Mm -hmm. And you're trying, like the, the good old boys club type. So of you're thing. establishing that like, I drink whiskey, I'm in charge. Yeah, I got, and this is usually scotch. Because there's an overall image of like, whiskey's for adults. Yeah. And when you're taken seriously, you're going to be switching to whiskey instead yeah, yeah, of what yeah. you normally drink. Harrison Ford again. Yeah, he's great. Yeah, yeah. I bet he really drinks whiskey in real life. There was a Blade Runner release. Yeah, we have that bottle. Yeah. That's why I decided, I know it's a Johnny Walker. It's, uh, yeah, it's a black scotch. It's not, like the whiskey itself wasn't anything special. But yeah. the bottle is cool. It's like yeah. a cool design. I have a theory about uh, the reason why a lot of these conversations and moments happened over a bottle or a glass of whiskey. Why is that? If people need to have a very serious exchange, like a tense dialogue, they need something in that exchange where tension in the moment can be angled towards. Because if it's just one-on-one -one human beings, right? If 100% of that back and forth is aimed at each other, and there's no escape mechanism, right? If things are getting a little hot, but then every once in a while you realize, like, this is getting a little much, I'm going to put my attention here for a second. Yeah. Let us settle back down. That's not yeah. movies, that's real life. Yeah. Yeah, I guess a screenwriting or a direction yeah. standpoint, you know? Yeah, it's yeah. something for the actors to do that's not just like... Right, staring, staring at, at each, each other. other yeah. And, yeah. yeah. There is actually one place in Europe that is worth seeing. These tiny islands off the coast of Scotland, where God's chosen elixirs are distilled, barreled, and prepared for consumption. Oh, were my love yon lilac fair, with purple blossoms to the spring, and I a bird to shelter there. <laughs> Try not to cry. Yeah. I don't know what she thought I'd get out of that. I don't know what she thought I would get out of that. For anybody that hasn't seen it, that is just wildly, wildly out of character for Ron Swanson. Oh, he yeah. is like the, the, the manliest of men, mm -hmm. right? Um, no emotion, um, very grumpy, but then there's like layers to his character that get revealed over time. I think Lagavulin as a whiskey mm -hmm. and Ron Swanson as a character 
absolutely perfect. I was surprised originally that they didn't go with a bourbon because he's so much of America character. Because if he was just doing the bourbon thing, mm -hmm. I think that would have been um, what he would reach for if the writers were okay with him being that cliche. He has an entire YouTube series, yeah. Tales of uh, Whiskey. Nick and... Offerman. Yeah. He's like the spirit animal for a lot of whiskey drinkers out there. Yeah, absolutely. Table <laughs> Romania. Suntory. Oh. I haven't seen all For of this. For a good time. This is one of my favorite movies of all time, by the way. Turn from the right or turn from the left? あの、彼の方はもう準備ができてます。先に左から踏んで向けばいいのか、右から向けばいいのか、ウィズインテンシティ。Okay. <laughs> okay. Is that everything? I mean, it seemed like he said quite a bit more than that. For relaxing times. Make it Suntory time. Kato, 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 kato. So basically, there's this huge back and forth of not understanding what the director's saying, yeah. very a lot of frustration. This is one of my favorite movies of all time, though. Yeah! Um, the reason why I like it is because I think it so perfectly captures that feeling when you are away from home in, in a foreign space. It doesn't even have to be in another country, it's just a, an unfamiliar environment. Right. Right, and, and um, you latch on to anything that feels comfortable and familiar. Right. And it ends up being this, this story of these uh, star-crossed lovers that can never get together for so many reasons. Hmm. Whiskey. Yeah, that's what I remember being um, really... Sorry, Rod, what was that? Whiskey. Wait, is he pronouncing the H? What? You're saying it weird. Saying what weird? All of it. Where do you get off? <laughs> you must have some... It must have been hard to do as a dialogue to remember when to use it and when not. I will forget it. Wait, he added an H to will. There's no H in that one. <laughs> Why did he do that? <laughs> Whiskey. <laughs> what are they going to do if he calls a safe word? What are they going to do? It's That's the entire the point of this movie. There's literally nothing. <laughs> it's it's ah. the entire point. <laughs> The safety word didn't help. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> A little slow tonight, isn't it? <laughs> Dude, just right at the camera. Mm. Yes, it is, Mr. Torrance. Because I just happen to have two 20s and two 10s right here in my wallet. White man's burden, my man. White man's now, I don't know if you can see it on the screen. It's actually a... Uh, Jack Daniels. It's a Jack Daniels bottle. It's yeah. a Tennessee, yeah. So yeah. a lot of people <laughs> get all been out of shape. Oh, so they're all done out of shape because they're arguing about whether or not it's actually bourbon or... <laughs> right. Oh, Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If somebody walked into any bar with the energy that Jack has right mm -hmm. now, and you're throwing that at the bartender, <laughs> that bartender is not going to respond. That was one of the things that made this feel like um, a really off, otherworldly, weird, creepy, because the bartender is just... Acting like it's totally normal. Like deadpan. Yeah. Yes, sir. If you give me $70, I will give this psycho man an entire bottle of whiskey. <laughs> yeah. Is it 70? Two it's... 20s and two 10s yeah, right that's here in my 60, wallet. Yeah, right? Oh, yeah, shit. Math. Math. I didn't, I, listen, <laughs> I didn't go to math school, all right? <laughs> There's a school for math? Apparently, I didn't Just go. for math? So, Daniel. Word. I think we should celebrate our foray into the world of cinema by reenacting one of these scenes. I mean, <laughs> I guess it's happening, man. <laughs> so, first we establish this is zero year old sparklets. Particular favorite of yours, I imagine. <laughs> <laughs> to the women we love. Okay, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Modern Rogue, he did the, the... Oh, Chilled Bullet! The Chilled Bullet? Yeah! We're gonna put a, a whiskey, it's like a whiskey stone. It's a waste of good tea. Make sure that I move that up. Do it. You ready? Yep. Oh my god! Hey, come on, that was pretty fucking close! Whoa! You missed though. Dude. Yeah, I did miss, but come on, I put a chunk in the wall. <laughs> Wow. No, nah, I think that was there before. No, there. But I know I, these things move. Yeah, yeah. So, you gotta admit, that was pretty yeah, That's pretty, pretty, pretty good. good. I have a bad feeling about this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was way 
wide. <laughs> Wait, why don't we just do this? Hang on. Oh! oh. Yeah. You know what happened? Math was involved. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you go to math school. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you're gonna have to do this again. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you're gonna have to do this again. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you're gonna have to do this again. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you're gonna have to do this again. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you're Right in the face. That's a waste of perfectly good iced tea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.